So today I have quite a bit of things going on. I have some work that I'm going to be doing, but it's going to be fun work. So um, I'm about to head out to meet um, one of my clients at the investment property that I showed you guys previously. And then I also need to do some sourcing for another client. I'm doing a little girl's room. Um, I think this is my first time mentioning that part to you guys, but I'm gonna go do some shopping for her bedroom um, and her sister, cause I'm doing both of their bedrooms. <laughs> Same colors, but um, it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna go out looking for some stuff for that um, after I leave the investment property. And of course my usual Saturday routine, which is heading to the mailbox to drop off some of my boxes from my Etsy shop. So just got a lot of work going on today, taking you guys with me. It's gonna be a fun day because your girl loves shopping, especially when it's like, not shopping that I have to do for myself. Although, I also need to get some more stuff for my office space. Um, I haven't completed, you know, decorating clearly because this picture here is hanging on the wall and I have a second one that's coming in from Pier 1. Um, so that one you guys saw me go in the store and actually get. Um, I don't know, by the time this video releases, I probably will have it in. Anyway, it neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, let's head out. That's pretty much everything that I'm going to be doing today. So let's go. You know, I got to swing through Dunkin Donuts and get my coffee before I go. What time is it? Oh, I might be pushing it, but because of what time it is in the day, it's not anybody in the line, so I'm okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real quick. Yes, can I get a small caramel iced coffee with extra caramel um, cream only and whipped cream on top? Okay, That is it. Okay, Okay, thanks. started gooding out the bathroom so that's kind of the purpose of um oh my gosh so that's kind of the purpose of me going down there today to just see um yeah and i'm excited because i love me some transformations so um yeah we will be seeing together so um it should be really pretty because the um colors i chose was pretty neutral um and then the flooring oh my gosh i just waste coffee on me crap um was the dark wood because they wanted to kind of keep the flooring up front and then we kind of wanted it to um transition smoothly throughout the rest of the place so this should be really really fun should be it should look really really good honestly by now so i think today he also wants me to um it's like an older house so it sits on like this concrete with like concrete steps so we gotta go over like paint colors i think for the um outside exterior which i already have um the colors that i think would look good because the house is like a baby bluish color so i think the base should stay in like a gray dark gray family and maybe with shutters we go with like white or maybe like that pretty new navy, navy blue or something like that but that's what i'm thinking but we'll see once i get there and start putting all the um colors and stuff on it in person it looks really good oh it's really pretty love this color Oh, this looks really good. 
it's so much lighter and brighter so this is the fossil gray color and these are the floors don't look like they started putting the flooring and stuff down yet but the bedrooms are so much better and nicer and brighter You see my white for the baseboard? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Because the wall is gray, so you don't want to go with a gray baseboard. I should have measured over here as well. I like this dark, dark wood. Alright, guys, so um, I'm leaving the investment property. It looks really good. The progress has been made so far in comparison to um, what it was when we first looked at it. Um, the only thing we have left to do is um, they have to gut out that half bathroom, which hasn't started yet. Um, what else? They were putting the flooring in in the master um, bedroom and the uh, second other bedroom, as you guys saw. So um, they were gonna paint the cabinets. Um, I had given them like an antique white color to kind of go with the backsplash that's already in there because they're not changing the backsplash. But he decided he's not gonna paint the cabinets. They're just gonna leave them brown, which um, honestly, um, for the type of property that it is, the brown actually works. I think the white would kick it up a notch, but um, he kind of wants to be cost effective with what he's doing um, because he's gonna be renting it out. So, um, those, um, the contractor said he's just going to basically stain those, not stain, but touch the cabinets up in the areas that need to be touched up. Um, I gave him the color for the base, um, that area at the bottom that you guys saw that was green. I gave him like a, it's like a deep blue grayish color to paint that, um, to kind of coincide with the baby blue and then I also did um, we're gonna just do snow white shutters to kind of make it clean and crisp so I still have all that to do so um, he said he was going to try to be done with that within the next two weeks so I will go back over there once um, everything is pretty complete I do have to order some more light fixtures and um, faucets for the master bathroom but um, other than that when I go back in about, I probably will go back in a week before it's finalized just to make sure um, any finishing touches we have to do gets done. So I'm gonna um, go back over there and by then, everything should pretty much be together for the most part. But the progress so far, like the difference, the wonders that paint makes, oh my gosh. I love the color that's in there now. It makes everything so much brighter, so. I'm excited to see what the final product is gonna look like. Full transformation, hey, yeah. But um, yeah, now we're about to go sourcing because I need to start picking up some items for the little girls' rooms and um, basically start getting that together. We don't have like a set timeline, but honestly, it shouldn't take but a few weeks. I'm not sure if she's okay sharing like the before and after final reveal. I might can put a picture or so in here, but I don't know about like a full video or whatever. So I have to talk to her about that. But um, I can take you guys shopping with me to see what we are getting. It's going to be a really pretty. She loves glam. So she wants um, the youngest girl is two. So she wants like a glam nursery theme. And then the oldest one is five. So she wants a glam princess theme. So, um, it's gonna be pretty. I have a daughter, so working with girls stuff is like right up my alley. So it's gonna be fun. Let's go shopping. I'm gonna grab this for my office space. This is perfect. So I can basically take my dry erase marker and write things that I need to do on it. This is very much needed. It's a pretty purple floral picture. We're gonna use like a flower theme, but it's gonna be more of a glam flower theme in a nursery. I think that'd be really cute. Every, every, every. 
is really pretty. If you have like blue and gold, that's really pretty. Oh, this is perfect. She leaves a little glitter wherever she goes. Oh gosh, must, must get this. Why is it so messed up? Oh my gosh, please have one that's clean. Perfect. I already have a basket full of stuff, guys. Um, so, the princess room is gonna be a mix of like teal, and we had said pink with the purple, but I'm gonna take it down to like a soft pink instead of a hot pink. So I have a bunch of different things. This cute little iridescent pillow right here which just fell okay um purple got lots of pictures and glitter i'll show this to you all in a separate video but y'all get the gist of it so i'm on the pillow aisle right now um trying to basically narrow down the pillows and see if i can find a pillow that has like all three colors in it like this is really pretty but i wish the saying said something different but the colors is just I on the lavender soft pink and the teal she already has a bookshelf in her room so I'm thinking of using these three well mixing it um, two teal and um, that's a bigger one there's one smaller than this hold on all right so she already has a bookshelf in her room. So I am thinking of using um, these three little bins to go on her shelf to kind of store her toys and stuff and just kind of mix the pink with the aqua because her walls are already purple. So I'm trying to, in the, more so in the decor, incorporate the pink um, and the aqua as opposed to so much purple since she already has purple walls. So I think these would be like super cute. And also, um, instead of this pillow right here, instead of this pillow, which is really pretty, I don't know, we might keep that pillow for her ottoman. Um, I found this cute little pillow which has, which already has like the teal and the purple in it. Like this is so freaking perfect. This is so girly and I love all the colors. So I am loaded up, about to um, head to the front of the store and check out. And then I'm gonna go home and like I usually do and map everything out to make sure that um, it's gonna all go together. Let's get out of here. These are some really cute boxes. Even that color, it's like a olive green. This is pretty. I think the front of it is made like this. Uh oh, and then they have it in white. White and gold, which matches my office, but I already have something like this in black and gold. And since that wall is white, I think I want to try to stick with black and gold pieces to go against the white wall. Um, and then they had a gold section where I did pick up, I picked up this um, file folder wall mount because I really, really, really need this. So this lamp, is that not gorgeous? I love the shape pretty this is so gorgeous this will go so great in my office y'all oh my gosh I just walked up there and it is 80 bucks but it's so pretty. It's like one of the biggest statement pieces that I could probably put on that bare wall. And out we go. 